It's Vern from VFC Archery. What I'm looking at here today is an Osage bow that I've made. It's only 40 inches long knock to knock. It only weighs 8 ounces, so it's just under 8 ounces. It is replica in a sense of a Comanche uh, war bow or hunting bow. Very short to be shot off horseback. Surprisingly, this bow has a draw weight at 22 inches of 53 pounds. So it's powerful, it's fast, and a little bit of setback in the handle. If you want to take a closer look at that, we'll take a look. There's a little bit of setback in that handle. Probably no more noticeable if it was unstrung. The uh, bow itself is Osage Orange. Probably the best wood for making a self bow that there is in the world. Also the hardest wood in North America. Um, so. There it is. Take a look at it. It's got a little bit of a gull wing shape and uh, definitely a looks like a child's bow but it's anything but. Um, but that kind of a bow would be used to kill uh, buffalo. Uh, the shortest bow I've ever made and like I say it's as light as a feather. Less than an 8 ounce stake but it could certainly shoot one for you that's for sure. I'll take a few shots. Very fast shooter. So now I'm going to take those shots from the opposite angle and we can take a look at the target and give you an idea what it looks like to look down the sight of a 40 inch uh, 22 inch draw and uh, probably 53 pounds of 22 inches. Meant to be snapshot. very fast bow. I'll pull this one to 22 inches. Show you the side profile. That's 22 inches. So I'll give you a bit of a close-up. I've done a leather handle on it. Call it Pawnee. Named after the tribe of Indians. So once again, Vern VFC Archery.